replatforming the deplatformed is, in my mind, a brilliant idea. Do you think that self-identification is just a facet of a growing culture of individualism or is it more of a unique issue? I mean, you could only have the, the, the quest for self-identification in 21st century capitalism. But if you look at consumer capitalism particularly and its growth, the only way that that drive to consume could be sustained is if we constantly created the need for us to express our unique sense of identity. It's a facet of, you know, high blown individualism. I think that we have an absolute clash of libertarianism. And I think that self ID, it's not just part of neoliberal, the neoliberal turn, and it's not just part of individualism. It is deeply embedded within libertarianism. Why is it part of the progressive left? Because I think there is a real a, a wanting to avoid the opposite of libertarianism, which is often seen as being moral authoritarianism. It wants to be inclusive and include all and allow uh, free expression and that kind of libertarian approach. The concrete importance of controversies surrounding sex and gender identity is arguably at its most sharp in the context of the criminal justice system. And it is therefore vital, we think, that these debates be conducted openly, honestly, and robustly. The issues of prisoner placement uh, policy became emblematic of the anxieties and the frustrations felt on all sides. The stage was set for a clash of ideologies and slogans, what has been called one of the most toxic cultural wars of our times. As the debate escalated, it rapidly spiraled into a binary, mutually exclusive debate about the category woman what a woman is, who is to be included in it, who is to be excluded in it, and who has the right or power to define the category. All of this is neatly summed up in the, the slogans that we all know quite well today, the two hashtags, trans women are women, and hashtag sex matters. Prisons are sex segregated and were sex segregated from the very beginning for two main reasons, pregnancy in prison and male violence against women. But in relation to criminalization, Women are doubly deviant and doubly damned. There exists differences in the pathways to crime between men and women, with women's victimization at the hands of men featuring extremely highly in how it is that women end up in prison. The presence of male-bodied individuals within a female prison creates a certain re-traumatizing effect, a triggering effect, because we also know that something like 90% of women in prison have had some form of sexual violence or physical violence at the hands of men in their lives. Male prisoners cottoned on to the fact that all they had to do was identify as a woman to get changed into the women's estate, and they started doing that. There are a disproportionate number of trans women in the male estate who have sex offending in their backgrounds. There doesn't seem to be the same problem with trans men in the female estate, interestingly. Quite frankly, the government wouldn't put female-bodied individuals into the men's estate. We've got a real problem here. I think that self-identification is probably the worst possible prison placement policy. The demand that organizations and institutions organize and operate around somebody's sense of self. So for quite a while, my feminism has been slightly underground. And when I say that, what I mean is I've been more interested in some of the ideas until the thing about self-identity and some of the trans rights ideology. And at that point, I thought, hang on a second, now we're in a place where I can no longer remain as quiet as I used to about politics. And it's, and it's because it defies logic. Some of the trans right ideology just defies the logic and the experience that women have. And any set of politics or knowledge that in my mind decries or somehow sidelines the violence that women experience at the hands of men just sticks in my throat because I've spent a lifetime investigating prostitution and child sexual exploitation. And I know too many stories. Bodies matter. Bodies matter. And if bodies matter, then sex matters. 